Hi guys from Sicily, from Palermo in Italy. Today I want to share with you the short video interview I made with Manistool, the world entrepreneur of the year 2016. If you want to learn more about Manistool, who he is and about his achievements, I will connect a video that I recorded for you uh, here and here in the description below. So watch this video before you uh, watch the short video interview that I want to show you now. I went to Melbourne to talk to him about his success secrets, about uh, what made him so extremely successful in business, about his thinking methods, about his business methods, his worldview, his habits and so on and so on. We spent two days talking about uh, these topics and during my visit there, I recorded some of his answers on video so I can share them with you now because I think his answers are really interesting and they are worthwhile. So see you in the next part. Hi and welcome from Melbourne, Australia. Every year in every country the best entrepreneur in this year is chosen. And once a year, all the best entrepreneurs from every country come to Monaco to celebrate uh, their achievements and to choose the best entrepreneur in the world. It is called the World Entrepreneur of the Year. And just a month ago, the World Entrepreneur of the Year 2016 was chosen. Many stool uh, manufacturer, a toy manufacturer from Australia um, became the World Entrepreneur of the Year 2016. Uh, I am standing uh, in the front of his um, company, Moose Toys, and uh, in several minutes I will have an interview uh, with him and ask him what in his personality uh, made him um, achieve such an extraordinary success and I'm talking here not about winning the competition I'm talking here about um, building two extremely successful companies he was born in a German refugee camp his um, family was almost eradicated in the Holocaust during the Second World War he came as a seven month um, young baby to Australia um, became here um, very successful uh, in sports, in different sports. Then I uh, founded a, a gift uh, company which became very successful. Um, it was called Skansen, um, which uh, he went public with and uh, then he sold his shares and retired in the uh, mid-90s. Then in 2000 uh, he bought another company uh, which was uh, close to bankruptcy actually, a uh, toy company and made a global player out of it. Moose Toys is considered the most uh, innovative in, and one of the fastest growing companies in the toy industry. Um, uh, by the number of the toys sold they are some of the best selling brands in the world. Uh, the Shopkins uh, has um, beaten Barbie in two years in a row and became the best-selling um, toy for girls and also uh, became the industry award as the best toy for the girls uh, in two consecutive years. So I will uh, talk to many about not only about how he did it but also what kind of person uh, he is, what he believes in, what motivates him, uh, what are his strategies, what are his thinking patterns. This is everything I will write about in my upcoming book. I was 1938, it wasn't 1936, so just, I'm not going to do it loud, you just listen. 
for a while. Right. See how it just keeps reverberating like a Buddhist bell. Hi from Melbourne. This is Manny Stool. Hi all. Hi. Or, or should I say good day, mate? Hi, Manny. Yeah, yeah. Um, Manny is an uh, Australian self-made billionaire. Uh, he is a founder and uh, chairman of uh, Moose Tools. Moose Tools is a global toy manufacturer, one of the most innovative and most um, profitable, best growing companies in the industry. Manny, uh, just a month ago you have um, won the title the World uh, Entrepreneur of the Year 2016. You are officially recognized as the best entrepreneur in the world. And uh, you have taken over uh, almost a bankrupt company and um, developed it into a global uh, powerhouse. Manny, tell me in short words what decided about your uh, success. What is your success secret? What the secret of success is? Well, there's no specific secret. It's probably no different from a lot of other very successful companies. It's, uh, it's passion, um, it's drive, it's hard work, um, innovation. Uh, innovation for us particularly is imperative. Um, integrity uh, in dealing with everyone that we come across with uh, on a win-win situation. And, uh, and inspiring loyalty in your staff. You just told me you sleep uh, five to six hours every day and uh, I can see you work uh, very long hours. Tell me, how do you sustain your energy level uh, needed for that amount of work? Well, I think, um, I think for uh, virtually all successful people, not just necessarily in business, but in life generally, I think it's important to look after your health. If you haven't got your health, uh, there really isn't much else. Uh, life is a misery without it. So um, I'm vegetarian. Uh, I'm fit, I exercise every day, um, just look after myself, it's, uh, and I don't get stressed, that's the other thing, I could, you know, there's a thing, there's good stress and bad stress, if you, if you love what you're doing and there's passion in what you're doing, you can work 18 hours a day and it's not stressful, if you hate what you're doing and you hate being there, you can work 3 hours a day and you probably end up sick because you're miserable, so, or you feel trapped, so uh, the, the, uh, the passion, the love of what I'm doing, and uh, and physically looking after myself. Exercise is important. Okay. And it doesn't have to be extreme exercise. I mean, I was, I was an elite athlete at one stage, and my heartbeat was maybe 40, uh, 46, 44 at rest. And uh, when I stopped, uh, stopped the uh, extreme sports, uh, I, I started walking, which I really thought was a waste of time. But my heartbeat sustained at uh, 56, uh, uh, through just regular walking an hour a day. So you don't have to do extreme sports and extreme activity to maintain a healthy level of fitness. Okay, you mentioned sports. You were chess champion, you were squash champion, you were tennis champion, the soccer champion. Um, now you won the prestigious uh, World Entrepreneur of the Year award. Uh, I think you know something about winning. Um, what advice would you uh, give to young people around the world who dream uh, to become a winner? Well, there's no question you have to have passion for what you're doing. Uh, you have to have love for what you're doing. I think that's very, very important. Um, you've got to do it for the right reasons. You've got to do it for you. Um, the commitment, yeah, the sacrifices you have to give, like if it's sport, for example, it's training. If it's business, it's long hours. Um, there's no, you can't be half pregnant in this. You've got to be fully committed to it. So that's yes, advice to young people, find something that you love doing, be passionate about it, um, commit to it totally and love what you're doing. Okay, and there is a rule in your company which says don't lie. Why did you make it a rule? Oh, just when I first started my, my first business, my gift business, uh, I learned very, very early on it's uh, imperative not to lie, to maintain uh, relationships and integrity and trust from people you're dealing with. Um, it's very, very, uh, very hard to win somebody's trust, but once you've got it, you probably have it for life, and you can lose it instantly by lying. Because I believe that once, some, once you've lost somebody's trust, you've probably lost it forever. Sure, they can forgive. Sure, the relationship be, can be maintained, but there isn't. It's not the same as it was before when they believed you always to tell the truth. Life's easier. Life's so much easier when you're telling the truth. Okay, thank you for your precious words and uh, thank you and see you from Melbourne. Bye all!
So this is a video conferencing system here. And then the whole cabin. And when you close this, it's a very, uh, it's a soundproof room. Of course, I learned much more from Manistool. He told me much more of his secrets and all of that you will find in my book, The Billion Dollar Secret. I invite you to check this book out. I invite you to leave a comment below this video. What do you think about the answers Manistool gave us, gave you? What is your perspective? What are your thoughts about the wisdom we got from the best entrepreneur of the year 2016 from the world entrepreneur of the year if you like this video give me a thumb up if you haven't thumb down don't forget to subscribe share this video with your loved ones with your friends one day they will thank you for that i present here the very best entrepreneurs of the world the billionaires of our times i share their wisdom with you how they think and how they act. So if you like this video, you will certainly like my other videos. I invite you to watch them and don't forget to check out the video about Manis Tool, about his achievements and what I have learned from him. That's it for today from Palermo, Italy. I wish you a fantastic day. Let's do something extraordinary today.